What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So after we learn one of the tools to create an opening in Revit, the, the shop opening. So this time around, so let's use another way of creating an opening. So I will be using opening by face. Okay, so it creates an opening that is perpendicular to the selected face of a roof, floor, or ceiling and in our case right now so we are going to create an opening to the beam using opening by face and then after that we are going to add uh, stiffener okay so stiffener usually you add that to strengthen the opening of the steel beam okay just to give you an idea so what we are going to do is here on the entryway uh, entryway area so I'm going to open the 3D view and then zoom in to that area here. So let's say, for example, um, I want to create an opening to this one, to this uh, framing here. So I want to create an opening. So we will be using um, by face opening. So we can do that here in the 3D view or you can also do that in our floor plan view and then create, uh, let's say, section okay so let me try to do that first here in the 3d view so from the 3d view i'm going to select your opening by face okay so click that and then after that if you are going to look at the status bar see here at the status bar so it say select a planar face of a roof floor ceiling beam or column column so opening will cut perpendicular so let's hover our, our pointer so make sure it highlights like this the face okay that one so once you see that you click okay so once you click you will now be going to the create opening boundary contextual tab wherein again you will be seeing here several options to create your sketch so i'll just use rectangle here Click that and then let's create here our opening. So let's say opening like this. So I'm going to make this, let's say, uh, 5 inches. And then this one, uh, 2 feet. Enter. So that's it. Okay. If you want to further modify that, so let's say you're having a difficulty doing that in the 3D view, you can always uh, create that in the uh, 2D view in the floor plan and then you can create the section so we are i'm gonna show that to you later on okay so after that the next thing that i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna finish that's it okay so that's how you create an opening using uh opening by face okay so you can still edit that you can click that opening again you can still edit the sketch or Let's go to the floor plan. And I believe it's somewhere here. So there's the opening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a section there. So click section from the quick access toolbar and then create a section here. You pick two points and then you can adjust the boundary of your section like that. Okay, there you go. And then just like your elevation, after you create your section, it will going to be added here on your project browser. So you can either double click the section here to open or double click that uh, shaded area. Double click and there you go. So let us turn the detail level to fine so that we can see clearly our model. There you go. Okay, so there's our opening. So like what I've said, so you can always select that. You can edit the sketch if you want. Okay, and then if you want that to be placed at the center, you can just create a line. And then you can use that as your guide. But of course, you need to delete that later on. So we are just using that as a guide. So let's uh, create another line here. So from here to here modify and then let's select these lines here use the move tool click the midpoint and then move it to the middle 
so you can use the tab again to cycle the selection so press tab tab so it doesn't highlight the midpoint so that's why I'm gonna turn off the constraint here okay there you go so there's our midpoint so you click that and then select modify and then after that let's delete the lines that we have created okay and then just finish again there you go so in 3d view this is how it looks like okay and then we are going to uh, load a family we are going to place a stiffener family here okay so in my uh, structure tab so there's the component drop down so you click that so we are going to place a component stiffener family so let's select that okay so in this exercise it's already created so that it will not take a lot of time so there's the linear stiffener plate so you click that all right and then after that you can now place it here you can still change that later on but let me just pick here as the starting point and then i'm going to pick another point here there you go okay so i can select here modify again let's check that out in the section view so there's the stiffener you can click that and then you can modify so let's say for the d i'll make it two inches okay and then again if you want to modify it you can still uh, change it here from the instance property okay then in 3d view this is how it looks like so there's go our two inches okay and then i can copy that go to the section uh let me align that first align here to here and then uh, we are going to copy this copy oops copy top to here there you go and then 3d view there's your stiffener family okay so our point here is that's how you use your uh, opening by face and then you can load your customized family by using place a component tool okay so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions you can put it on the comment section below so thank you for watching have a nice day